Hey, those of you that are familiar with Kickstarter knows it comes up with great ideas sometimes. And this was a super one, a pocket-sized collapsible drone quadcopter. Well, that had me. So it got my $500 and had made some amazing claims about lifting uh, big heavy weight, long flight time, super smooth video, collapses down to something that goes into a little thing. Great, 1,545 comments. A lot of people weren't very happy with the slow delays and the quality. Well, hmm, I'd already put my money in, so eventually it shows up. It was on a nice box. Not a bad transmitter. Kind of thin directions. And the kind of cheap plastic feel of it didn't feel that secure. But anyway, it has some interesting propellers that uh, pop open, uh, kind of lock in place, and that's part of the, you know, getting it down to a really small size. But, you know, those comments really worry me. Anyway, so I charge in the uh, battery. Pretty good battery, 4,000 milliamps. And it's a charger. It's almost like a trickle charger because it has to go through the balance port. And then that locks uh, onto the bottom of the uh, pocket drone. Uh, not the best fit. It um, has a little bit of a shaking action. And that might show up a little bit later in its flying capability. Anyway, after reading all those negative comments, I went online and there's a superb drone community user guide that uh, tells you some of the problems that they've had with it and how to fix them, such as the loose tail, which requires gluing and reinforcing. So I uh, glued it and reinforced it exactly the way it was requested and uh, everything was pretty good after that. Tied the antenna down, went to Mission Planner, downloaded the software, calibrated all the settings, made sure that I had a fence uh, of the distance and height so that it uh, would stay within that. Ready to go. First time it fires up. Fantastic. Hey, just fell right over. What the heck? Anyway, try it one more time here. Gonna give it lots of juice this time to get it off the ground fast. There we go. That's a good one. Whoa, it's coming at me. Oh, at me. Losing control. Uh oh. Oh, it's coming back again. Ooh, I just ducked in time. I would have taken my head. And then it was gone. Just like a rocket. Powered off. Drops into a pile of snag of bushes. Of course, they're super prickly. At least it uh, broke the fall of this thing. This. Uh, not very impressive first flight and I've flown thousands of drone flights in different many different kinds so this was a bit disappointing. Anyway, a great personal discomfort. I dragged it out, reset everything, recalibrated, made sure there was no uh, nothing moving on it and we got it ready to go. So far so good, got it up right up high and I have it in hover mode so it should be staying more or less motionless. Not bad. It's starting to drift though, and there's not really any wind. Then it starts doing a few slow circles, and then it starts, every time I touch it to try to uh, straighten it out a little bit or move it over, it kind of does a little twitch in the air, which has got me a bit more worried. Anyway, I have it set so it doesn't drift more than 100 meters away from me, and it's already about 125 meters away from me right now, so I'm kind of a little bit concerned that I might actually get it out of its own range. So I start trying to make little adjustments to it, starting to try to pull it back in and start to power the motors down a bit to get a little bit lower and uh, it's not really responding. It's starting in fact moving in circles, uh, a very slow spin and every time I touch the direction to try to steer it back towards me it starts to uh, do some more little circles. This is a bit bothersome. So I start trying to power it down a bit more and to uh, make some adjustments forward and backwards to try to straighten it out of its spin. And this time it's just not responding. So now I'm really powering the motors down and it's coming down and I think, oh, I'm gonna go into return to home, see if I can shut it off. And it just plays like a rock at this point. Yeah, that's the end of that. I'm not taking it up again, too scary. Goodbye, pocket drone.